Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Traveling Boulder. I'm Evie, and today we are going to be reviewing the Vital West Harlem Gym. So this gym is located on 129th Street and Broadway on the west side of Manhattan. It is part of Vital Manhattan. So if you look on Instagram um, or our social media, it's, it's just Vital Manhattan, and you'll see this one and the Lexington Avenue one, which I reviewed last week. Um, I love the fact that this gym is so easily accessible um, by public transportation. It is one block from the one train. So if you're coming from Midtown, you just take the 2-3, which is express up to 96, switch over to the one and then take it up to 125th Street, get off and the gym is literally right there. You can see it from the train station. Um, so let's go over some first impressions. <music> The day pass is $25, the monthly pass is $115, and the way their pricing works is the same as the Lexington Avenue one, which is that $115 will get you to all the vital gyms, including the one in Brooklyn, but you just have to make sure you're going to the Manhattan one more than you are to the Brooklyn one. Uh, one of the guys I talked to that worked there said, as long as you make sure you go like 20 times a month um, to the one in Manhattan, you're good. So. It's good to know. The size is medium. I would say it's a hard medium. There is a downstairs with what I think are very tall walls. They're actually only 20 feet, but they're not overhung like the ones at the cliffs in Harlem. And so for me, where I'm used to these walls that kind of come out like this, um, to see walls that just go straight up 20 feet, it definitely freaks me out. Um, luckily, there's also an upstairs section where there's like short little boulders, but don't let the height fool you. Those are challenging ones, but it is nice that you can either, you know, go upstairs and or go downstairs, just depending on how comfortable you are with the height. Um, I like it upstairs more because I'm much more comfortable climbing short walls than I am high walls, but that's just me. All of the crash pads at the bottom, the mats are super, super squishy. So. That was one thing I really liked about it. I could like, I gave myself whiplash. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not... But thank God for squishy pads. Um, one thing to note about this gym is that it's not 24 seven, um, like the one on Lexington. And I think it's because it's connected to a Columbia facility. All right, so let's talk about the routes here. So we'll start with the downstairs section. The first one I tried was a V0. And I was like, wow, this is actually pretty challenging for someone who has never climbed before. I was, I was shocked. Um, and then I tried a V1 and I was like, wow, if you're a little bit shorter than me, this is, these are like big reaches here. So I would say that this is, definitely not a beginner friendly gym. As in, if you're a beginner, you will have fewer options and you're gonna have to practice the same ones over and over again a lot more. And then to progress to the next level, it's definitely going to be a leap. Um, I think if I had gone to this gym maybe a year ago, I would not have, as, have had as much fun as I did this time. Um, like I said, there's a lot of reaching and then there's also a lot of like body positioning um things that you have to do like a lot of that technique and i think as a beginner that's at least for me it was one of the most difficult things to really grasp um kinesthetically is to how do you shift your body weight when your body is on the wall um there are over 20 v6 plus routes that i counted i may have counted wrong so we'll just say about 20 which is quite a lot and i think it goes all the way up to a v10 um the, I, I don't want to say the routes are all over the place. I think they give you a really great variety of different routes. So for example, if you're doing V3s and V4s, you have a huge variety. There are things that go just straight up. There are things that are completely overhung where you're like upside down like a bat. There are ones that are overhung with very terrible handholds. There are ones that are dinos. There are ones that are just all slopers. If you go upstairs, there are ones that are almost like cop style ones. Um, and so it's really nice that even if you're not a 
advanced climber, you get to try and to practice all of these different techniques. And the same for V4s. Um, I will say the ones upstairs, I would say a little bit more technical than the ones downstairs. Um, I think the downstairs ones are challenging because of the height more than anything. And once again, this is just me because these are my strengths and my weaknesses. Um, so the ones upstairs, for example, because I'm more comfortable with the height, I'm much more willing to push myself and to do moves that I would never do if I was like 15 feet up in the air. <laughs> um, and I think that mental change makes a huge difference between the downstairs and the upstairs and the different types of routes that you can do when you're in both of those places. Just something to keep in mind. I find myself going upstairs more. I feel like I really should push myself to do the downstairs one. But after giving myself whiplash and falling off that V2, <laughs> um, I'm like, no, no, no. Um, one interesting thing, I really like this. There was a V2 that had really great holes. They were like basically jugs, but it was overhung. And then there was one that was pretty much all crimps, the one I gave myself whiplash on. And it was more or less straight up. And I thought, both of these routes actually had sort of the same uh, techniques where you had to have the same techniques where you had to learn the same moves in order to, to send them. Um, it was just because of the overhung wall versus the straight up wall, the holds were different. And so if you did these two back to back, you can really tell where your strengths are. And so for me, clearly my strength is overhang. Um, I was able to flash the V2 very easily. It, even the height didn't freak me out except coming down. But the one with the crimps just going straight up, oof, that was rough. And it was funny because it was the same body movement of kind of like hoisting yourself, swinging your body onto a hold. And just the fact that it went straight up versus like this just freaked me out. Okay, so let's talk about some of the amenities. So when you first come in, there is a ping pong table. They have a little shop, which is nice, you know, chalk, shirt, gear, whatever. Um, and then once you get down to the downstairs bouldering section, you, you'll have to walk through like a little gym area. There are some weights, there's like a bench, um, like a squat rack, and there's hang boards. And there's also, you know, events calendar, which is nice. And then if you go downstairs, there are four bathrooms and no shower. Um, there's a drinking fountain and locker room. So, or lockers, I should say. There's no like men, women locker room. Um, oh, co-working space. If you go upstairs to where the short bouldering walls are, there's a little like bar table area and then some bar chairs. So you can sit there and actually do some work and then boulder, which is really nice. And there are outlets because I plugged my phone in. Um, so it's nice. All right, so that is my review of the Vital West Harlem Gym. Um, if you get a chance to go there, don't forget about the upstairs because when I first went, I thought the downstairs was it. And then I was talking to someone and he was like, oh, did you try the upstairs walls? They're shorter, maybe you'll be more comfortable there. I was like, what? And I went up there and I loved it. Um, this place has great, great lighting. So if you're like me and you like to take videos, your videos will look amazing, even if you fall. <laughs> and across the street, this is like a little bonus. There's a go-go -go curry. If you've never had go-go curry, it is Japanese style curry with like um, pork katsu and on rice with some veggies and it's delicious. It is like the best post climbing meal. So I hope you guys enjoy this review and uh, Leave comments below if you've been to Vital West Harlem. Let me know how you like it. And um, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>